so I'm actually back in Eclipse and what I want to do is go ahead and get Eclipse talking to my server. So I want to click on the servers tab and then right click here and go new and go server. Now the reason I'm using Helios is because it actually has a tab for Eclipse or for Tomcat 7. So let's go ahead and come down here, go to Apache and then I should see Tomcat 7 at the bottom. So that's the server I want to uh, get Eclipse talking to. And that's the local host server. Hit next. And then I want to actually browse to where that server exists. And we put that server in the uh, C drive and in the uh, Eclipse Helios folder. So let's go to uh, my computer, go to C, and then go down to the Eclipse Helios folder. And there's my Tomcat 7. So I want to click on that and hit OK. And then it, it, I'm going to hit next and accept that. I don't have any programs in there yet. When I get some programs, I can make them available and configure them. We're going to show you how to do that and hit finish. So this is a little bit different than what you've done before with Eclipse. And uh, what I want to do is see if my server will start. And there's some reasons the server won't start. And for example, uh, localhost is port 8080. And if I've got another server that's using port 8080, then I need to basically stop using that port or, or the port that's using 8080, remove it. And so my Tomcat server can use it, or I need to change the uh, server config file of the Tomcat server. So I use another port, and that's typically what I have to do on my machine. Let's go and see if we can run this. So right-click on this and go start. Cross your fingers, see if it will start up. And uh, let me go ahead and click right here. And I actually start it, but the reason I start it, uh, let me double-click on this so you can see what's going on. The reason I was able to start is because I had previously changed my HTTP port to 8098. You see that? And it, yours is running on 8080. So uh, you, you may have to do that. Now, how do you do that? And I want to show you how to do that. What you have to do is actually go into config files. And so let's go down. Um, and I'm going to show you where I did that. Because you're going to run into this, I swear, in your life. And you won't know what to do. And you'll call me, and I'll be on vacation somewhere, and so you won't, you know, you'll be stuck until I get back. So you you can go back and watch this video. And say, oh, that's how we do it. So let's come on here and take a look. Go to my C drive. Go to my uh, Helios Eclipse folder, and then I want to go to um, go to my Tomcat server, and then I want to go to web apps, and that's where all your web apps run. And this is good to be here anyway because we're going to pay attention to this root folder right here. We're actually going to copy this root folder while we're here for a reason. So we're good that we're here. So let me get rid of this. And I'm going to copy this just to put this in my clipboard, okay? Because I'm going, to, I'm going to paste it in the Eclipse folder itself because Eclipse doesn't have the right root stuff. So this does. But before I do that, let's uh, go back one. I actually got a little too ambitious. Click on the config folder. And I'm going to click on the config folder and you're going to see a bunch of files here. And the one you're interested in is server XML. And when you click on server XML, go ahead and open that up with Dreamweaver, for example, or Notepad, it doesn't matter. And when you do what you have is your uh, set your server XML config file. And then I want to come and zip down here a little bit. And as I zip down here, I'm going to actually see a port number. And see that connect port? And your, yours says 8080, and I had to change that to 8089. Okay? So what you have to do is fish around here a little bit and play around some of these port numbers. I like to save a copy in case I screwed up. I don't know what I did, so I can always go back, you know. But uh, sometimes you have to change even the connector port here. I had to change to 812 to get all this running. So I actually had to play around a little bit until I had everything up and running because I have so many, like I said, so many servers running. <laughs> I had to mess with a little bit so it'll start running on 8098. So that's how I got mine running, and you may run into that problem. You will if you work with a lot of servers one day where you... And I'm surprised yours ran, so um, uh, that's good for you. So it wasn't good for me, so I had to fix that. So we're done, and now what we want to do is start importing stuff so we can actually, you know, play around with it and look at some uh, pages. So on this white space right here, I want you to right-click, and I want you to go um, Import, and then you're going to go to Import, and I want you to go to General, and I'll walk you through this. And we're going to go to Existing Project, And go to existing projects and work into workspace. Click on that, and you, uh, what I want you to do is click on this select archive file. You see that right there? And go to browse, and we're going to browse that folder that you created uh, in your Eclipse Helios, if you remember that. And that folder was called, um, yeah, well, we're going to go to our Helios workspace. No, this not the workspace we're going to go to. Let's see real quick here, let me get to it. Eclipse Helios. It's going to be that zipped resources. Remember that? 
And in that Zest resources, there's a test app file. We're going to start with that. Just click on that and hit open. And that should do it for you. Hit finish. And suddenly you should have a, it, everything's unzipped and ready for you to work with right here. And what I'm looking at right now is a bunch of servlets. All right? And so I'm going to open this up in Java resources. And we'll be talking about this file structure as we move on more and more. But in the SRC resources, I'm going to open up test package. And in that, I see Java Hello World. Um, if I double click on that, it should come up. Just like Eclipse does. There you go. Okay, you're good then. Go ahead and open up test app and navigate down to test package and double click on Hello World. Okay, so we're back and we've clicked on Hello World and we want to run this. Okay, and this is what's a little bit different than what you've done before. Let me go ahead and bring this up so you can see all this. Okay, so what we need to do is actually work with the server itself to get this running. So what I'm going to do, so here's my Tomcat server here. What I actually want to do now is kind of right click on this and go to add and remove. You see that? I click on that and now I can see in that is appearing everything that's over in my uh, navigation panel. And I can see the test app that I brought in. You see that? I actually want to add that so I can actually work with it. So I move it over. And then I hit finish. Now, now once I've done that, I want to restart my server because it's new. I just pushed it over to my server. Let's restart. And now I can actually run it. Now let me just say something that's very important. There's a reason we use Eclipse. It's the reason we use Tomcat 7. And let me go ahead and show you real quick. You have this little uh, attribute symbol, this at symbol right here. That allows me to kind of rename uh, the root to hello. All right, and That's all I'm going to say right now. We'll get more into the, using those little attribute symbols as we move on. But when I run this, it's actually going to run under, under hello. Okay, So now I'm actually going to run the program, and it should run. Cross your fingers. And I, I'm going to put no here. It's just going to run it for me. And it said the Tomcat server is already running. So it doesn't like something I did with the Tomcat server. Now this will happen every once in a while. Just stop the Tomcat server. All right. And this it doesn't happen all the time, it just happens every once in a while. I just run it again. And now it's going to start the Tomcat server up for me. Okay, it says, okay, yeah, let's start the Tomcat server. Let's finish that. And now let's run it. And there we go. Hello world. Ta-da! And notice that at attribute is not actually running the hello world Java name right here. It's actually running uh, that uh, whatever I gave that alias in it. Okay, so in a sense, I mapped the program to that hello word using the attribute symbol. Okay, something new. You haven't seen that a lot, but it's a new. It's it's the way a lot of people are programming. As we get into spring, you'll be seeing these symbols a lot more. Okay, and I'll explain them to you as we go through that. So you just ran your first uh, a Java servlet. Ta-da! <laughs> Not too bad, right? So I'm going to go back there and just kind of explain the program just a little bit. Uh, and you got a few imports here. It's it's in the test package. You saw that. A few imports here. You've, you're seeing your uh, your servlets, uh, your servlet annotation, and your servlet HTTP. Uh, just a little bit below, uh, we're extending the HTTP HTTP uh, servlet class for Hello World. We have a do get. Now this is similar to post and get. All right, and you may remember those from PHP. And you're seeing stuff like the HTTP request and the HTTP response. We were going back and forth. You can throw an error if you have an error. And we're going to do a print hello world, and that's it. So you've seen enough of Java to understand what all that means. And that's a servlet. Now, what's the difference between a servlet and JSP is that, once again, the servlet kind of like has HTML inside of Java, where JSP is um, Java inside HTML. Okay. So we're immediately going to go take a look at some JSP pages right now. That was a very short introduction to servlets. Sorry about that.